Hello and welcome to Hoffman Photography. My name is Rainer. I'm a photographer and photo instructor. Today we'll talk about three composition rules in photography to which the great Andreas Feininger has never found an exception. Andreas Feininger was one of the great photographers of the 20th century. He wrote several books about photography, some of which I have in my library. He was quite outspoken when it came to photography myth and especially composition rules. Here is one of my favorite quotes. Well, I have nothing to add to that one. And here's what he says about composition rules. By the way, I translated these quotes from German, so the original wording might be slightly different. That certainly is good advice, and it is a well-known quote of finding out. However, he also said, and that for whatever reason is not well known, three rules without exception, hard and fast composition rules. Yes, Feininger did indeed say that. The proof is in here. So let's have a look. At those rules. Number one, small white areas that run into the edge of the image give the appearance that the image edge has been nibbled. Is nibbled an English word? I don't know. This is Google Translate, so don't blame me. Such bright areas can be made darker by burning. Okay, that last sentence refers to a classic darkroom technique called dodging and burning. But let's see what Finding Us talking about. These areas at the top of this image are just white and so they blend into um, the frame of the image in this case and it looks as if uh, a mouse has nibbled on, on the edges of this image and this image doesn't have a real, a real boundary up here. And in classic darkroom times, we would have burned in these areas so that they are no, no longer white but gray. Well, another solution, of course, is to frame the image differently like so. And now we have a nice dark edge, which is a border of the image, and that's fine. Number two. Round shapes or curves that are close to the edge of the image should never touch the edges of the image. Either they should be separated from the edge of the image by sufficient distance or they should be boldly cropped. And here's what we are talking about. Now, in this case, the nose of the aircraft just touches the edge of the image. And I agree with finding out this doesn't look good. It's, it doesn't feel right. So this is much, much better. Now we have a sufficient distance of the nose to the edge of the image. That's fine. Or the other solution is to boldly crop the image. Number three, lines that run more or less diagonally against one of the corners of the image should never split exactly the angle formed by the horizontal and vertical edges of the image. Instead, they should end in either the vertical or horizontal edge at a sufficient distance from the corner of the image. Well, that sounds a bit cryptic, so here's what we are talking about. Now, this is what Feininger doesn't like. If one prominent line in the image running more or less diagonally just splits this corner here, just ends in the very corner of the image, then he says this doesn't look right. And 
he prefers to have this line and somewhere here along or at the vertical edge of the image. And same is true for, for lines like this one. So I agree with finding up, but I know that some photographers really try hard to let lines like this one end exactly here in this corner. Personally, I prefer this one, but that's up to you. What do you think? Is finding all right? Leave your comments whether you agree or don't agree. And by the way, of course, Feininger himself didn't call these rules Feininger's rules. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.